guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl marie if you're new here karibu sana thank you so much for stopping by i love to have you here okay guys so this is part two of my tanzania vlog um i'm coming to you from my hotel room in moshi and i'm right outside if you didn't watch the part one of that of you know the tanzania vlog then please go back and watch it because this vlog won't make sense to you probably i don't know anyway um we are preparing to leave to leave moshi to start going to arusha i've just woken up i've freshened up and i look a little bit ashy because i've just freshened up i haven't like you know i haven't even packed moisturized my skin <laughs> i just decided to do this intro first so that i can moisturize my skin go downstairs and have breakfast and then we can head out that's the plan right now um if you didn't watch the previous vlog let me give you okay i won't give you a room tour because obviously we slept in the room and now it's you know everything is everywhere but let me give you a sweep of you know what i'm looking at right now i didn't show you in the previous vlog but that's that's the swimming pool of the hotel i think it looks nice um the hotel is probably a three or a two star it was it's good you know we are group joining so this place was just um, good enough uh, those are some of the rooms all that all that and that's our truck that we came in I really loved this experience guys I loved the experience of group joining to you know go to a different country for a road trip it was just amazing it was definitely totally worth every penny and I think I'd, I'd do this over and over again I like traveling but I don't like traveling alone like I don't feel like I enjoy my company as much so right now I'd consider myself a solo traveler because I don't know any of these people I'm literally just getting to know all 26 of them today we are 27 in total in that truck and we are moving together we don't know each other we literally just getting to know each other right now and we had so much fun okay I think the other vlog for yesterday um it ended when i was telling you guys that we will i'll probably go out i did go out to a club in moshi was it called red red something red sand red i don't know but some club within here and i'm telling you guys that club was amazing we had so much time we had so much time and we found other another group of kenyans in there as well and joined them oh my god it was so much fun like I sound a bit um, rough in my voice because I had one too many glasses of wine but it was totally worth it and I thought I'd be hungover but I'm actually not hungover I'm feeling great I did hydrate properly I think I'll, I'll even feel better after you know after breakfast so that's basically what my first day in Tanzania was today we have a full day we're gonna go sightseeing so don't go anywhere okay don't go anywhere uh, we've been promised to see some beautiful places like you guys saw yesterday we went to Marangu Falls and it was so nice so today we're also going to we're going to Kikuletwa and I don't know there's another place old town of it, we're gonna explore some other places and see them so inside sea so I'm gonna bring you guys obviously don't you know don't forget to stay tuned anyway let me get ready and let me get ready and go have some food
gone for too long In a faraway land Tryna find my way in Searching for where I did belong Coming up with a plan Somewhere I can begin Memories of my hometown Keep crawling back in my head Been around the world all this time Still couldn't match how we feel down and in the middle of nowhere as well <laughs> we've been sitting here for about two hours waiting for this truck to come and pick us because we're headed to Tikuletwa and we usually have no no more time left like our day is already over it's about 2 p.m right now so i don't even know if we're going to make it in time but hopefully we will but you know this is a this is part of the experience Going down now. Been at it for a while, and I have had enough of this. I doubt that we can solve it. Been trying for so long, and I just can't ignore that it won't ever be the same. No, we will never be that good again. Don't drag it out, skip the innocence. We are at Kipuletua Hot Spring and right now I'm going to change. Let me tell you guys, this place is amazing. It's in the middle of nowhere and it's amazing. I love it. I love everything about it and I love the fact that it's, the middle, it's in the middle of nowhere. So I said I was not going to swim but I think I want to go in for a dip just to feel like, you know, I, I swam at the hot spring. So I'm here. I want to change. Then I'll go show you guys around some more. The mansion in my dream. Now you wanna be there. And I just can't know that it won't ever be the same. Now we will never be that good again. Don't drag it out. Skip the innocence. Things will never be the same again. We've landed at Arusha that we've landed. We've arrived at Arusha and it's around 10 p.m. It's 10 30 p.m. right now. We are 
lodging at Sandwich Safari Hotel and honestly I feel like the room is a lot nicer than our previous room in Moshi. I like it. Again, I'll give you guys a quick sweep of the room before we go down for dinner because we were, we were like really late and they had to stay up to, you know, welcome us. So, yeah. Katasi calls that we have to go down and have dinner as quick as we can. So, this is what our, our room looks like. Here we have the luggage rug. We have a tiny wardrobe there that goes to the toilet and bathroom bunch of switches and now this is a double room i don't know if it's i don't know if it's supposed to be a double room or just it's a twin it's a twin room yeah so that means there's a, this little bed here and that one i think i really like this room a lot better than the other one Plus, there's a full-length mirror in this one, and the other one didn't have a full-length mirror, which is which I thought was quite funny. So we're going to head over to have dinner, and um, I was about to tell you guys something. Yeah, so because we've arrived very late in the night, I don't think I'm gonna like do any tours for you guys. I think I'm, I'm gonna do that tomorrow before we go to the market and buy some things for home because we're leaving for nairobi tomorrow All right see you guys tomorrow morning or see you guys at dinner ciao i see it in your eyes yeah i can read the signs you need to get away it's time we make a change and unfortunately my vacation is over <laughs> it's over today so i've shown you guys what the hotel looks like honestly i really love this one a lot more than the one that we were in in moshi so it's a lot nicer you know it's really nice but our stay here is over we just had breakfast so we want to go to the market because i need to buy some souvenirs and maybe like I don't know, just souvenirs. Okay, let me go behind the curtain. Yeah. Like I need to buy some souvenirs to bring back home just to remember that I was in Tanzania and I think I'm gonna buy like two lessos uh, fabric for my African print uh what do you call them ankara ankara fabric I'm gonna buy some of those because I know that the ones that we use in Kenya are actually you know bought in tanzania imported from tanzania so i want to go buy those to bring home with me as gifts and i think that's about it after that we're going to go sightseeing as well we're going to hey culture culture center we're going to arusha culture center to go sightseeing on our way to the border and we're going back home via namanga border I can't believe our vacation is over because like guys I really I enjoyed the trip I enjoyed the country but I honestly feel like the most enjoyable part for me was meeting new people like strangers who became friends I made I made so many friends over this trip and I'm so happy for that and 
one of them dio we are for nyuma that's Marcy. <laughs> Marcy has been my roommate for the past two days and it's been amazing. So we're going to go to the market with Marcy and then we'll catch up with you guys at the culture culture center. Culture center. Okay, bye guys. The sun is going down now. Been at it for a while. And I have had enough of this I doubt that we can solve it Been trying for so long And I just can't ignore That it won't ever be the same No, we will never be that good again Don't drag it out Skip the innocence Okay, so guys, um, I'm in the shot, yeah. I'm back home, and yeah, unfortunately, the trip is over. I feel a bit sad that the trip is over, but I am so happy that I got to experience this because, guys, Tanzania is a beautiful country. Like, there's a few things I, I observed in the few days I was there, and I can say, I can proudly say, I can genuinely say that I loved the country, I loved the people, especially the people. The people are so polite. Coming from a Kenyan who has lived in Kenya all her life, Tanzanian people are very pro polite. Like, you know, even as a lady, I feel respected when I'm in that, you know, when I'm in the country interacting with the people from the opposite gender. And like in Kenya where people are so, so aggressive, like men, what one do they were so aggressive that I don't even feel safe walking around. But in Tanzania, I felt, you know, they were very respectful. That was like a really plus for me. I felt safe as a woman just being in that community. And even the hawkers, you know, in Kenya, Kenyans who are here, I'm not like, uh, so what you may, <laughs> I don't know the word. I'm not burning the image of Kenyans. Kenya is a beautiful place too. I love my country. But I know that the people here can be a bit over entitled and aggressive. You know, even hawkers who hawk um, in the streets, they get so much in your space, in your face, that you just feel irritated. You know, I know they're just trying to, you know, they're just trying to make a living, to earn a living and make some money. But we, we all are trying to do that, you know? You just don't have to be in someone's space too much. When I say no, I don't have the money to buy your stuff. Uh, just let it be and go look for someone else who's, who will buy that stuff. But Kenyan hawkers here have the tendency to just be in your be in your face and like be too persistent and too loud and you just like, Please let me be. You know, we didn't get to experience that in Tanzania. We went to Kariakol where I got a few things that I'm about to show you guys. And 
we were obviously we were new you know from our accent to how we were dressed we were new we were not from that place and everyone could tell we're not from that place but nobody was trying to sell us something that we don't want to to buy you know no hawker was trying to grab you by force to buy their stuff everyone was just like of course they were trying to sell stuff to us but they were not being overly into our space and overly entitled and i really appreciated that because i think it would have been so uh, overwhelming for me if i was in a new country and you know someone is just too much into my space i'd feel like they want to rob me or something and i didn't get to feel that in Tanzania, which was a very big plus so i think i'd i'd enjoy shopping even in the most crowded spaces in that place again that was in arusha so i don't know if that's the case everywhere else but I only got to experience that in Arusha and I think I loved the experience. Speaking of which, I got a few things from Karyoko as, you know, things to bring with me to, to Kenya. And I think I really, I really enjoyed shopping there, guys. Ooh, our truck nearly left us. It was me and my friend Marcy. Our truck nearly left us because we went shopping. We took too long shopping. Oh yeah, the other experience that I don't think I really liked uh about this was in arusha did we try to get something in washi no this was in arusha and i was really, actually both in moshi and arusha i went to look for a tampon i don't know if it's something to do with you know the cultural beliefs or i don't know what it is but i couldn't find a tampon anywhere anywhere in moshi or arusha i only got i only found it finally in one mall the village it's called the village mall something like that and that was like in the heart of arusha in the in the cbd but everywhere else even in the big supermarkets but outside of the cbd of arusha i don't know if the cbd if it's the cbd but like the main center town center there was no tampons in any pharmacy, in any retail shop, in any beauty cosmetics shop. No tampons anywhere. And actually, 80% of the people we asked didn't even know what tampons are. So I had to like explain what it is, but even then, most of them didn't understand. So they've never seen a tampon in their life. I was like, what? Even pharmacists? I mean, like, it's here any any place even outside nairobi in mombasa in kisumu in eldorage in nakuru you will find tampons you know i've found myself in emergencies where i have to buy from a shop and i still find tampons i didn't expect to not find a tampon in a, a pack of tampons in a pharmacy like and the pharmacist didn't know what i was talking about so i had to explain you know it's like a, a thing the size of my finger but with a string and they still couldn't understand but I was I was baffled. I was taken aback by that. I was like, "What?" So, if you're gonna if you're planning on on visiting, just you know, and you don't use sanitary towels like pads, just get yourself um, a good supply of tampons because you're gonna be looking for a very long time before you can find one. And that was an emergency for me because I didn't. I think it's because of the change in temperature in climate that really affected me. Oh, by the way, our tour was going around mount kilimanjaro so we went through the green so the a mountain has two sides right there's a leeward side and the windward side so we came in through the windward side which is the oloitoktok border uh, in the, on the side of kenya i've forgotten what it's called on the side of tanzania so we went through there it's like a very green beautiful place if you if you've watched the vlog you've seen that i was showing you guys the landscape so that you guys can experience that with me so we came in through the windward side which is the oloitoktok border and went through to moshi that's where we saw um, marangu that place is so green eh? guys it's so beautiful i don't feel like the videos i took were were like doing it justice and we could just we could see the mountain mount kilimanjaro bursting majestically over the clouds oh my god like it's easily one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen in my life freak of nature that place that place is beautiful and the mountain is it's i'm gonna say i'm gonna go off here and say it's the most beautiful natural thing i've ever seen in my entire life that mountain I felt like it was literally hanging in the clouds somewhere. I've seen the mountain from, you know, when we are flying. I've seen the mountain from a distance during my flights, but I've never seen it literally standing in front of me. So huge. 
I was so I was so captivated by that like for such a long time to more that I stopped talking about it with my neighbor because I was just like I think she's gonna think I'm too much you know I was so captivated by that mountain but yeah we went so we went through the windward side and then all came out from the leeward side which is the dry land the dry side of a mountain and the leeward side is where the namanga one stop border um it's one stop border post is so namanga is on the dry side on the leeward side and although talk talk is on the windward side and yeah it was generally it was such a beautiful place to be in i can't wait to go to Dar es Salaam. i'm thinking of going to da to zanzibar so doing a uh dodoma Dar es Salaam zanzibar tour very soon because like i love the country and i want to experience all of that and next i think i'm gonna go to uganda as well and you know we will know from there uganda rwanda guys i'm so psyched up i hope i won't lose the momentum because like i want i want my goal is by the end of this year i would have gone to as many african countries as i can before i start going outside of africa and i can't wait to bring you guys with me all the way through i can't wait to bring you guys with me all the way through and you know what for the places that i can afford to to use a bus to go i think i'm gonna stick to buses because i feel like if i took um my flight if i took a flight to tanzania i wouldn't have experienced as much as i did on that bus like on that truck that overland truck was just everything it made the experience a lot better and a lot more different so if you're not afraid to like take eight hours on the road because i feel like that's the adventure you know um i'm more looking at the adventure towards my destination and not really focusing on getting to my destination so if i took a flight to um arusha or whatever in any airstrip in tanzania i would have missed out on all that experience of going through the border going through the dry lands getting stuck as you guys so you know all the uh, you know bad roads and the experience was just amazing for me by overland tracks so i think uh, even going back to going to zanzibar that tour i'm still gonna do buses if i can um and a ferry of course because you can't take a bus to zanzibar and also uh, i think the rwanda tour hopefully hopefully jackson has a rwanda tour coming up because that would be amazing jackson is the guy that we used is the uh, owner of the tours and travel company kenya outdoors uh, that i used to go to um tanzania the same round so hopefully he has a trip to rwanda and if he does i'll probably share it with you guys so that whoever wants to join can join so we can have fun together uh oh anybody's watching how we do anyway so we can have fun together yeah so let me show you guys everything i got uh, I'm gonna do a little try on haul with for you guys so that we can see how they fit. I got a couple of deras. I got these deras and I just think they were like really affordable. Let me know in the comment section guys who are from Tanzania. So these are like two piece deras. So they call them dera. We call them dera here. Somebody's gonna call them dera. These are two piece dera. So they dress and a scarf that you can use as a belt and they call them shippy. I bought these each at a thousand shillings, Kenyan shillings. And I don't know how, to, that's like 22,000 Tanzanian shillings. 25, 22,000 Tanzanian shillings, yeah. So I, bought, I got this at a thousand shillings each as it is, not each like, you know this pair at a thousand shillings and there's this pair as well and then the, the, and then there is this pair as well and then i got this two-piece set uh from the same place we're still in kariako and we got these i got this at two thousand an equivalent of 1800 kenyan shillings uh that was probably 60 45 000 Tanzanian shillings and I also got these. I had to get something for my man, of course. So I got these. These are um, fabric. I'm gonna do a kitenge. It's that time, guys. It's time for a kitenge with me and my man. We need to go machi machi. So I'm gonna get, I got this for him specifically for like a suit jacket and a dress for me. And I also got this that we can do like a, a couple's outfit as well. My favorite actually is this one guys 
Look at the print. Look at the print on this fabric. Yeah? This is gonna be so amazing. And I got this for like 1700 shillings. It's um 1700 Kenyan shillings. It's six yards. Yeah, which is an equivalent of about I think six five meters or something. So 5.5 .5 meters. So I got this. Uh the the idea is I'm gonna do a suit jacket for Amen and then I'm gonna do um, a balloon dress for myself and maybe a bow tie for Luna for a photo shoot. I can't wait. I think this is my favorite piece and it helps that he really likes it too. I don't know if he likes it because I like it. Maybe he just likes it for it. I don't know. But this is my favorite piece. Let me know guys what do you what do you prefer? This or or this number one is the red one the red uh printed one and this is number two let me know in the comment section which fabric you like but i think the red one is the red and black one is my favorite also i'm not i'm not mad about this one like i look at the print on this it's blue i'm gonna bring it closer for you guys to see as well it's the print on that the quality of this fabric is top notch like it's a hundred percent cotton and I have a few more fabrics that I have that I've bought from Kenya. I've, I haven't used them to make any cloth yet because I'm not sure if I, yeah, if I like the quality on them. But this one was just perfect. It feels so good. These are these are gonna be so good when we do cross when we do uh, couples outfits with these. Like I can't wait, guys. Oh, prepare to be sick of me and my man on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram so that you can get to see how these came out but i really loved them so yeah i'm gonna do uh, i'm gonna ask him to send me his measurements and i'll probably take them to a fundi uh, in the course of this week so i'm gonna try these deras on for you guys to see and this uh two piece and then we can call it a vlog and we'll see you guys and last week, uh, and we'll see each other in my next vlog okay so let's try uh let's try the first outfit on I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction, convinced I never needed a fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything, thought she could get anywhere. Confident she's number one. And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it, that I was a member Of Confidence Club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just stoned it But sadly I've outgrown it I know I'm still that girl But I don't know how to show it Like she knew she knew, she knew, she knew Wasn't really ready, no, I had to grow Up but it's so heavy and I'm feeling low Unlearning all that was wrong for me And I wish somebody would have issued a warning No, they did, but I kept ignoring Didn't wanna have to face it But if I don't know, it's gonna break me, oh Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get To become now i can't remember how i used to do it that i was a member of confidence club cause that don't last forever i wish i saw what she saw i wish i knew what she knew i love how she just stole my best sadly i've outgrown it i know i'm still that girl but i don't know how to show us like she knew like she knew she knew she knew
guys that brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to hit the subscribe button like comment share and we'll see you in our next one always remember to work harder on yourself and you work at your job and until next time bye guys love you Thank you.